Many of you will know by now that the latest Epic Games Store controversy comes courtesy of this indie game called Ooblets. This is a life sim creature collecting game that garnered generally positive feedback throughout its development cycle, but all of that changed with their Epic exclusivity announcement, a decision that unsurprisingly drew backlash from PC gaming enthusiasts. Now it's worth repeating that under certain circumstances, people can accept a game company signing such a deal. In Indie developers in particular who don't have the backing and security of a multi-billion dollar game publisher tend to be scraping by and have to work very hard to keep the lights on and to have a roof over their heads while covering development expenses, with no certainty that their game will even end up making its money back post-launch. In this type of scenario, it's understood that a major cash infusion from Epic can go a long way in allowing such indie developers to worry less about survival and more about making and bolstering their game. Ooblet's development studio Glumberland, comprised of a husband and wife team, is one such case. And while there is always going to be backlash with any Epic exclusivity announcement, a lot of it could have been mitigated had they communicated their situation plainly and politely. But instead, the developers resorted to announcing their signing of an Epic exclusivity deal with a patronizing and condescending tone that only served to add gasoline to fire. With many people people who read this post feeling as though their statements regarding qualms against Epic's business tactics were insultingly reductive. First of all, they downplayed the whole situation by insinuating people were overblowing the notion of having to download an extra bit of free software when there's so much more to the issue than that. They also went ahead and excused the Epic Game Store's lack of features by noting how it took Steam 15 years to get to where it is now, which is a cop-out excuse given that we're talking about 15 years of progress and hindsight that's raised the standards in terms of what basic features any modern game store and launcher should have in this day and age. Finally, perhaps worst of all, Ooblet's developers try to brush off the anti-consumer elements of the Epic Game Store by touting how there are bigger things to be angry about, like climate change and human rights abuse, as if people can't be concerned about multiple issues of varying scale and degree at the same time as if to insinuate the existence of larger issues negate smaller issues. I could bounce this argument right back and ask Ooblet's developers why they're mad about people being mad about Epic exclusivity, or why they're mad about people pirating games when there are bigger issues like climate change and human rights abuse to worry about. See what I mean? We could go round and round with this type of argument. So just all around this was about the worst possible way an indie development studio with legitimate reasons to sign this deal could have gone about breaking the news of an Epic Game Store exclusivity to the gaming community. Making matters worse is that the discourse that's been going on in the official Ooblets Discord has been pretty nasty as well, with developers taking to hostile and inflammatory responses to legitimate feedback. They went ahead and labeled everyone who argued against the developers as toxic and entitled gamers, even those who approached discussion with civility and offered constructive feedback. Back. This led to responses like these from users asking whether being peeved at not being able to buy Ooblets due to the Epic Game Store's lack of regional pricing in certain countries makes him entitled and toxic, to which one of the developers inconsiderately responded with, you'll have to wait I guess, nobody owes you the game. Throughout the days following this whole debacle, word continued to spread, and backlash against Ooblets and its developers continued to mount, leading to many cases of unfortunate harassment. It wasn't long before Epic Games got wind of this and decided to issue a statement defending Ooblet's developers against the flood of scrutiny they've had to face. Published on August 5th on their official website, Epic issued the following statement on this matter, which reads, quote, We at Epic Games have often shared our views about the game business and companies in it, and we support the entire game community's right to speak freely and critically about these topics, including the topic of Epic, our products, and our store. When every Everyone shares their earnest views, the best ideas ultimately prevail. The announcement of Ooblet highlighted a disturbing trend which is growing and undermining healthy public discourse, and that's the coordinated and deliberate creation and promotion of false information, including fake screenshots, videos, and technical analysis, accompanied by harassment of partners, promotion of hateful themes, and intimidation of those with opposing views. Epic is working together with many game developers and other partners to build what we believe 
will be a healthier and more competitive multi-store world for the future. We remain fully committed, and we will steadfastly support our partners throughout these challenges. Many thanks to all of you that continue to promote and advocate for healthy, truthful discussion about the games business and stand up to all manners of abuse. Okay, so there is an important bit of context that specifically drove Epic to publish this post. Those who have been following this story will be aware that a number of screenshots have been shared from the game's official Discord, highlighting some of the less savory responses that the developers are guilty of. While many of them are legitimate, some screenshots and even videos have been faked to exaggerate the level of discourse at which the developers engaged in. This one video in particular made quite a splash, as it showed the husband of this two-man team, Ben Wasser, seemingly posting a derogatory and offensive message that read, quote, Honestly, I'm tempted to say that now we have funding secured, gamers would be better off in gas chambers, but that's probably insensitive. This alleged message message was first circulated via screenshot, and then so-called video proof began to circulate, showing the message allegedly being posted and then deleted shortly thereafter. Many people took the bait and soon began to spread this video as if it were damning evidence, but it wasn't long before people discovered that this message and this video were completely faked. Multiple users who were in the Ooblets Discord at the time of this chat segment confirmed that no such message was ever posted, and other Others have shown proof of how easy it is to create these kinds of fake videos and fake Discord messages. Furthermore, Ben Wasser took to Twitter to address this issue, stating the following, Gotta quickly address the faked screenshot going around of me supposedly saying gamers would be better off in gas chambers. Obviously, never said that, and as a Jewish person, this one really hurt to see being spread around. It'd help if you could report people spreading it. So now there's a video going around claiming to show me in real time posting the fake message and then deleting it. People are believing it because it's so outlandish that anyone would spend all the time to fake a video like this just to attack me, but that's legit where we are at. I welcome anyone unsure to go through our logs and see the context around when they're claiming it was posted to see if there'd be any provocation or reactions to saying something like that. Also, I'd ask anyone from Discord to look into it and help lay this to rest. Also worth pointing out is this screenshot that that's been circulating that put one of Ben Wasser's responses way out of context. The screenshot shows a user expressing some harsh life and financial circumstances while asking about potential solutions for the Epic Games Store's lack of regional pricing, followed by a response from Ben that reads, My dudes, no amount of difficult life experiences makes it okay to demand that you get a game. However, the fact that timestamps didn't match up, the fact that there is no indication Ben's message here was a direct response to this particular user's post, and the fact that there are people in the Ooblets Discord who can attest to this quickly prove that Ben's response here specifically was copied and pasted and rearranged out of order to exaggerate the nature of this specific interaction. So yeah, when Epic talks about, quote, the coordinated and deliberate creation and promotion of false information, including fake screenshots, videos, and technical analysis, accompanied by harassment of partners, promotion of hateful themes, and intimidation of those with opposing views, unquote, stuff like the fake video, the fake screenshots, the out-of-context images, as well as the ensuing backlash and harassment, are what's being referred to by this post. Now, don't get me wrong, I still think the developers handled the epic announcement and their various inflammatory responses extremely poorly, and the developers themselves had a large role to play in stoking the flames. However, I do believe there's absolutely zero justification for anyone to be on the receiving end of the kind of toxic and vitriolic harassment that's being directed at the developers. I do think criticism, even if strongly conveyed, as long as it's constructive, it's fair, but it's a whole other thing to resort to insults and threats that add nothing to the conversation, and that's just plain and simply a scummy way to approach these kinds of situations. That's what the spreading of this fake video was about. It wasn't about fighting for a cause, it was about hurting someone unreasonably. Ooblet's developers actually commented on all of this and the effect this has all had in a recent Patreon post that was transcribed by Games Industry. It reads, quote, We really misjudged how angry so many people would be. This whole thing has just devastated us. We have been getting thousands, if not tens of thousands, of hateful, threatening messages across every possible platform non-stop. It's especially hurtful since we have had such a positive, supportive,
supportive relationship with our audience throughout development. I have been crying nonstop for the last two days and feeling like the world has collapsed around me. I couldn't have guessed the scale of what it would feel like to be the target of an internet hate mob. I already had a lot of empathy for other targets of previous hate mobs, which is why we wanted to address that sort of thinking in our announcement, but I had no idea it was this bad. Now, as much as I truly do sympathize with any developer who's faced with any kind of harassment, as much as it pains me that this kind of culture permeates the internet, I don't want to downplay the fact that some of the screenshots that have been posted showing how Ooblet's developers have responded with aggression, hostility, and insults are real. By stooping to this low level of discourse, by taking the tone they did in their epic exclusivity announcement, all the developers did was get dissenters even more riled up about this whole situation. And none of that is addressed in any of these Patreon posts. They're not talking about where they maybe might have slipped up. All I'm saying is that let's not pretend that the Ooblets developers didn't play a part in the escalation of all this. Let's also not pretend that Epic CEO Tim Sweeney didn't play his part as well. Recall that before the harassment against the developers escalated to this untenable level, before the fake video began to spread, Tim Sweeney responded to this whole situation by tweeting, quote, In response to community feedback, I have reviewed the tone of the Ooblets exclusivity announcement and wish to make the following official statement. It was awesome! Is this really how Epic CEO thinks he's going to win hearts and minds? Does he think this is the kind of response to issue during a time like this? Does he think this will inspire healthy public discourse, as he put it in his latest statement? Not only is Tim encouraging developers to be rude to potential customers, all he did was further challenge toxic crowds to go after Ooblet's developers. This whole situation really is just an amalgamation of escalations from multiple parties. Things would have never gotten to this point had the developers been less condescending and less hostile with their retorts, had Epic CEO not celebrated the condescension, and had the toxic crowds not resorted to blowing things out of proportion with faked videos and out-of-context screenshots. Furthermore, outlets and individuals covering this whole story also on some level probably directed some minority toxic segments of their communities towards the developers despite intentions being to relay information and or to have an honest discourse. But what sparked that initial fire was the tone of the blog post, and a lack of apology or anything of the sort, and ensuing behavior in the Discord channels only served to add fuel to this volatile circumstance. With all that said, it is important to make clarifications on certain matters, as there is false and exaggerated information out there. Did Ooblets developers engage condescendingly and aggressively with the Ooblets community as well as the gaming community as a whole? Yes, on multiple fronts they did. Were they reductive about legitimate qualms surrounding Epic Games Store exclusivity that ruffled feathers of even people who were civil and offered constructive feedback? Definitely, yes. Do they focus too much on speaking to a toxic minority of the gaming community rather than simply appealing to the majority who would have been glad to overlook Epic exclusivity if it really meant this humble indie title getting funded and not having to worry so much about survival? Yes. But did these developers ever suggest something as vile and putrid as putting gamers into gas chambers? No. Do they deserve feedback that goes beyond harsh, albeit constructive criticism, and delves into toxic vitriol, insults, and threats? Hell no. There's actually an entire article that Ben Wasser put out in which he highlighted some of these comments, and as you can see, it's pretty gross how far some people are willing to take their disdain. I discourage anyone from engaging in this kind of manner. Never be afraid to be constructively critical, but don't become this, like seriously, this just does not help one iota. Now, the rest of this article offers Ben's extensive thoughts on this whole debacle. This is something that was published a few hours ago, and I do have some things to say about this, but this is something that I'll break down and talk about in my next video. So look forward to that. For now though, I'd love to hear what your take is on the Ooblets developers handling of their epic exclusivity announcement in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update and discussion video. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.